Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. So today I'll tell you how to derive the solutions of non-homogeneous recurrence relations using the concept of generating functions. If you have watched my last video, you will understand what are generating functions. And now we will use that concept to solve our non-homogeneous recurrence relation. So in my previous videos, I've also shown another method of solving a non-homogeneous recurrence relation. So if you remember, the solution comprised of two parts, the homogeneous solution and the particular solution. So here, we do not have to find out both the solutions in this. In one go, with the concept of generating functions, we will be able to solve the non-homogeneous recurrence relations. So let us try to solve. So we have what is the method first of all we will multiply the entire recurrence relation by the powers of z to the power n right and after multiplying by z to the power n we will sum up the terms we will take the summations from the lowest index of the sequence till infinity right so after multiplying by z to the power n and by taking the summation we will get an equation of this kind then we will convert each of these summations into a generating function and then we will calculate the generating function in step number two and after we are able to calculate the generating function in step number three we will derive the sequence for which the generating function is obtained in the second step right so let us try to apply this in a question and see how do we calculate the solution right so look at the first question. The first example is that we are given the sequence sk minus 6 sk minus 1 plus 5 sk minus 2 equal to 0. So here the index is not n but it is k. So accordingly we will change our algorithm. So the first step is we will multiply the entire equation with z to the power k and we will take the summation from the lowest index. So what is the lowest index here? k minus 2 is the lowest index. So we will put k minus 2 equal to 0. We will get k equal to 2. So first of all, let us multiply the entire sequence with z to the power k. And let us now take the summation. And right hand side after multiplying will still remain 0 only. Right? Okay. Now, so now let us take the summation. So k goes from 2 to infinity. Summation k goes from 2 to infinity. Summation k goes from 2 to infinity. And here you can see that on the right hand side we have the term 0. Right? So now let us take each of these terms. So let us take the first term that is summation k going from 2 to infinity s k z to the power k. Let us convert this into generating function and then we will substitute it back here. So when you open up the sequence we get s2 z square plus s3 z cube plus s4 z to the power 4 and so on. To convert this into generating function, you can see that the first two terms are missing. That is S0 and S1z. Right? So, we add and we subtract these terms. So, now if you look at the question, the values of S0 and S1 are provided to us. So, this entire sum, this will become generating function G of Sz minus S of 0 is given to us as 1. And S of 1 is given to us as 2. So that means the first summation becomes D of Sz minus 1 minus 2. Right? The next summation. So now let us write down the next summation term. So in the next summation we have K going from 2 to infinity. S K minus 1 Z to the power K. So let's open up the terms. This is S1 Z square, S2 Z cube, S3 Z to the power 4 and so on. 
So if you check out the terms, you can see that you can take out 1z common. So we are left with S1z plus S2z square plus S3z cube and so on. And now you can see that minus S0 and plus S0 and minus S0 is missing. So S0 was missing. So we added and subtracted S0. So this becomes, the sum becomes G of SZ minus S of 0 is 1. So we get this as our second one. So let us substitute over here. So we get Z times G of SZ minus. Now the next term is 5 times the second expression. So I'm just deleting the first sequence terms. So let's start with the third sequence term, summation zk going from 2 to infinity sk minus 2 into z to the power k. So this is s naught z square plus s1z cube plus s2z square z to the power 4 and so on. And here you can see that z square can be taken out common. So we are left with s0 plus s1z plus s2z square and so on. So this is further z square into the generating function. Right. So we substitute the third term in the sequence here. So this is z square g of sz. This is equal to zero right okay now let us collect the terms of gsz on the left hand side so gsz the first term is one then we have minus six z plus five z square and let us transfer all other terms on the right hand side so we will get one plus two z this is plus twelve z so it will become minus twelve z so g of sz will become 1 minus 10z upon, uh, sorry, this is not 12, this is 6, 7z, you know. So this is plus 7z, right? 6z, so it's not 7 also, it's 6. So we will get here 6. Minus 6 into minus z will be plus 6z. 2z is transferred and 1 is transferred. So we will get here 1 minus 8z upon 1 plus, oh sorry, 1 minus, we will have here 1 minus 6z plus 5z squared. Right? Now we can resolve this into partial fractions. And once we resolve this into partial fractions, what we are going to get, let us see. So, uh, this coefficient is not 8, but this is 4 because I have here 2z and this is, this will be 1 plus 2z and this will be minus here, right? Yes. So, now we have the terms like this and this leads to a upon 5z minus 1 plus b upon z minus 1. So now when you reduce this into partial fractions and we, when we equate the coefficients on both sides, we will get the coefficient of a as minus 1 by 4 and the coefficient of b as minus 3 by 4. So our generating function is basically minus 1 by 4 into 1 upon 5z minus 1 uh, minus 3 by 4 into 1 upon z minus 1. So now let's rearrange the terms. This is 1 by 4 upon, we can write 5z minus 1 can be written as minus of 1 minus 5z and that with that the minus sign gets already adjusted plus 3 by 4 into 1 upon 1 minus z. Right? <laughs> So we know that if the sequence is a to the power n, then the generating function is 1 upon 1 minus az. 
So that means this is 1 by 4. So if you compare it with your right hand side, this is the generating function for 5 raised to power k. Similarly, plus 3 by 4, this is the generating function for 1 raised to power. Right? So this becomes our c. sk becomes your 1 by 4 into 5 to the power k plus 3 by 4 into 1 to the power k. So what we have done in the first step, we have converted the sequence into generating function. In the second step, we have calculated the value of the generating function. And in the third step, we have reduced it to the sequence. Right? So I hope you have understood the question. Let us try one more problem. So now, in the next problem, we are given the recurrence relation as AR plus 2 minus 3 AR plus 1 plus 2 AR equal to 0. And we are given the initial conditions A0 as 2 and A0, A1 as 3. So here you can see that the indexes are now. So now let us try to multiply the recurrence relation with z to the power r. AR plus 1 z to the power r plus 2 times 8 r z to the power r is equal to 0. Let's take the summation r going from. Who is the lowest index here? r. So r goes from 0 to infinity. Minus 3 r goes from 0 to infinity. Summation r goes from 0 to infinity. So now let us try to take up the first term. So the first term is summation r going from 0 to infinity a r plus 2 z raised to power r. So put r equal to 2. So you will get a2 z to the power 0 is 1 plus a3 z plus a4 z square plus a5 z cube and so on. So what do you find here? You can see that a2 should be multiplied with z square and so on. So we multiply and divide by z square. Right? So after multiplying and dividing by z square, we get 1 by z square a2 z square plus a3 z cube plus a4 z4 plus so on. But then you can find out that a0 plus a1 z are missing. So we add and subtract a0 and a1 z. So from here we get 1 by z square. Now this is the sum is the generating function that is g of s z minus a0 is 2 minus a1 is 3. Right? So let us put it back in the recurrence relation. So we get the first term as 1 by z square, the generating function g of s z minus 2 minus z minus 3 times. Now let us try to calculate the second sequence term. So now when we calculate the second sequence term, so we have the sequence as summation r going from 0 to infinity a r plus 1 into z to the power r. So now this is, uh, when you put r equal to 0, you will get a 1 plus a 2 z plus a 3 z square plus so on. Right? So now again, you can see that with a 1, z should be multiplied. So we multiply with z. And we also divide by z. So this is 1 by z times a1z plus a2z square plus a3z cube plus so on. And here you can see that a0 is missing. So we add and subtract. So the sum becomes the generating function. And a0 is given us to be 2. So this is your second C, right? So let us substitute it back over here. So we have 3 by Z 
the generating function minus 2. And then we have finally 2 of 2. We don't know whether we'll get something common or not. So let me do. And now let us try to calculate the third sequence term. So for the third sequence term, let me clear out this. So the third sequence is summation r going from 0 to infinity, a r, z to the power r. So on putting r equal to 0, we get the first term as 1. Then we have a 1 z plus a 2 z square, right? And then we have a 2 z square. So the first term is a 0. Then a3, z cube, and so on. So this is simply forming the generating function. So let us substitute here. This is gsz. So now let us collect the generating functions on the left hand side. So we have 1 by z square minus 3 by z plus 2 is equal to 2 by z square plus 3 by z then minus 3 by z plus into minus 2 is plus 6 by z and that will go that side and become minus 6 by z so let me clear this and we get the generating function g of s z as this is 2 by z square minus 3 by z divided by 1 by z square minus 3 by z plus 2. So when you take the z square common, you'll get 2z minus 3 upon 1 minus 3 by z, 3z plus 2z square, right? And this gets factorized as 2z minus 3 upon 1 minus z, 1 minus 2z right and you can use partial fractions to break it as a upon 1 minus z plus b upon 1 minus 2z so on comparing the coefficients on both sides we'll get this as a's coefficient is 1 and the coefficient of b is also 1. So now for this what is the sequence? The sequence is 1 upon 1 minus z it is 1 raised to power r Plus, this is 2 raised to power. So, this becomes your final answer. So, the sequence AR turns out to be 1 to the power R plus 2 to the power R. Right? So, I've understood, I think you have understood the topic. And you can practice two more questions that are given in this. So, you can solve these two questions. And do comment me in the comment box what are the answers to the solution, right? So, that's all for this lecture. Thank you so much. So, if you like the video, do hit the like button. And those of you who have not yet subscribed my channel, do subscribe my channel to get the latest updated video. And believe in yourself and you will be able to succeed. Thank you so much.